Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft, where in this video, I'm going to be finishing my Iron Man suit using command blocks. Because I've already made the helmet fully functional with all of these Jarvis commands. And I've also made Repulsor with both the knockback mode and the laser mode. But that isn't a full Iron Man suit, you know, that's just like parts of it. So, before recording this, uh, I have actually already made this one uh, here, which I think was two red and then one orange. I'm hoping, at least, that I can make the arc reactor, so that will then make it so that you do a command, and then the arc reactor, like, shoots out a beam. Basically just your pulsar bot times ten. Uh, yeah, I'm in survival mode, uh, but times ten. Uh, and then it's also, I, I, I want to be able to fly with the Iron Man suit. And that's what I'm going to be making in this video. But before I do any of that, first, uh, first I need to activate, or first I need to make a scoreboard. So when you then activate a command, or when you then run a command, the suit then comes on. And that's just this simple command. And then I will go over to that one there, I think it is, which is my Iron Man helmet video. And then in this command block right here, which then makes so that if you've then uh, taken in the command slash trigger Jarvis open and close, then it takes on the helmet. But then I'll also do if four at S and then Iron Man suit matches one. So now if I do trigger, it's only Black Panther suit. So now what I'll do is that I'll execute as at A, run, scoreboard, players, enable at S, Iron Man suit. And then I take that to always active. So now I can do that. And then if I do do that and then do this, I can then enable the helmet. Then I will add another command block, which executes as at A again. If score of at S, Iron Man suit matches two, then run, scoreboard, players, reset, at S, Iron Man suit. Then I take a chain command block off of this one, which then does item, replace, entity, at A, chest, feet, and legs with air. And then I add this command, which is so that when you then uh, deactivate the suit, then the helmet also goes off. And then I'll do another command block, which executes S at A, if score of at S, Iron Man suit matches one, then take on the suit. And now the suit is fully on and I went for a gold on the legs and I think it looks pretty good. And also, since I copied the armor data from that, that over there, which is my Black Panther, then uh, I made it so that the chest plate gives you more armor. And actually, I'm going to give myself a little bit more armor. Yeah, because then it's all 10 armor bars. And when you take the suit on and off, it's then like that, and it comes a little bit of a sound because the helmet retracts, and then when you take it on... So as I said, I want an arc reactor blast, and I also want light. So I think first I'll do the blast, and for that I think I might head over to my repulsor build here, and then do this, so I copy this command, and this command, and then add in this command, and then add in this command. And this is where I ran into some trouble because first I thought that I could make it so that it's like when you sneak, it's like you sneak and then you wait like three seconds or something. And then the big arc reactor blast thing happens, right? It's just so many complications there. So what's my solution to all of this? Well, I have sort of an idea. And basically what that idea is, is that Instead of seeing like, oh, that scoreboard is then at like 80 or something. Instead of doing that, it's just repeaters. Because this command sees if then the, the reactor blast uh, has started. And then I make it set block and then three there. So that's then these coordinates of this gold block, red stone block. So now if I sneak, that's done there. And then it's just to see how long different repeater timings are. Okay, so I think seven repeaters is good. So that seemed to be enough and I kind of just... Ta -da. This one here then resets the, the reactor blast. 
This one here summons an invisible armor stand named Reactor Beam in front of you. And then this one here makes the Reactor Beam armor stand face the player. Then I'll land another command block, which will set block this block to a redstone block. Actually, no, I won't do that. I'll actually just copy that. And then this one here, I'll get rid of, paste that in. And then I'll grab another command block right here, which does the resetting. Even if you haven't been charging it up all the way, it's still just going to reset it. And then I'll head over to my repulsor again, copy this command block. And then I do instead of laser repulsor, it's then reactor beam. And then I'll go over to my repulsor again and copy that command block, which is then if there is a block where the beam is going to go, then just get rid of the beam. And then I'll copy this command block, which insta kills anything it touches. Uh, and actually I'm going to turn this distance up from one block to two blocks. Uh, so that, you know, it gives off a little bit more power. So now let's just test it out. So I sneak and then... Um... Why didn't you work? And then that happens. Why? Okay. Oh, there's an armor stand right there. And right now let's do a quick test. So uh, I'm making it go up. And then nothing happened. And the armor stance is in the ground. Okay, so let's try. So it's going up and then... Okay, that spread is way too much. Uh, I'm just gonna make it be like that. Okay, let's make the spread be much less. Like maybe 0.1. Yes, I actually think 0.1 is good. And I've just made this repeater way longer. And what I'm then going to do is that now... Uh, this here is then like the delay. So, so that's then the killing mechanism. And then it's the resetting system. So now this should all be functional and up and going. I do that and then bam. I need you to die when you hit a block. Oh, I think it died when it hit a block. Okay, let's see that again. So it goes there, it hits a block. No, it's still there. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and what? why? And like, why does it work on the repulsor and not on the reactor when it's literally the exact same command? Why does this here not work? So you know what? I'm even going to copy that exact command. So if this here doesn't work, I'm just gonna give up. Then if it doesn't work now, I don't think it's ever going to work. So um, I do that. Okay, and then it's loading up. Is it gonna work? No, that thing hates me apparently. I've been at this for so long, let's just move on to the flying. Actually, wait, no, let's not do that because, you know, uh, sound effects. So I then power it up and then that sound happens. So Sound effects is good. Now let's move on to the flying. I've been at this for way too long. And you thought that the chest repulsor was hard? Well, I've been at this for like 10 minutes and I haven't even come up with a single idea on how to do it. This video is already so freaking long and I still need to test it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna do it off camera because boy do I like, you know, having a video that isn't 20 minutes long. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh, yes, finally. Oh my God, my head is hurting so much. Still, I've got it kind of working. When you go down, it's a little bit weird, but I think this is actually pretty successful. Basically, what I've done is that now you can do trigger Iron Man fly. And when you do that, you'll start to levitate and you'll get some speed because Iron Man flies fast. And then when you sneak, you then go down. Very rigid, rigidity. Rigidity? Is that a word? And then it's kind of weird to fly, but still it's okay. And then you can't go underground. So if you're just constantly trying to sneak, you can't go um, under there, but you can then just do the command again and it'll all be fine. So now I think we've finally done it. Like, I know that this hair maybe hasn't seemed too long for you guys. It's been so long for me, although I'm not too happy. Wait, I need to add some particles, but I'm not too happy with this flight, but it's the best I can do. And if you don't like it, eat.
it. Okay, I've spent too much time on this. Okay, now I've also added some particles on the legs. I'm not gonna uh, make the particles from like the back or the hands, uh, just the legs because I just wanna get to testing this to be honest. So yeah, let's get to testing it now. So here we then have a horde of undead and I'm going to be taking them on in survival mode. But you see, I'm just a normal dude, but you see, the thing about us smart people, we always cover our asses. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, they're all down there. I'm just going to fly my way over. Let's go over to that tree, table that, take in the repulsor, shoot down, jump over here, push them away. Go like that, uh, trigger the flying again, fly over here, uh, just being on the top here. And then let's just trigger night vision for a second. Oh, I need to take off my shader pack because my shader pack doesn't like night vision. Okay, like that, now we have night vision. And then let's also do heat signature so that I'll know where everyone is. Let's fire down a repulsor there. And, and then let's go out on the beach. Right, and then let's do... But why why doesn't that work? Why doesn't that work? Alright, well, let's fly off to the zombie. Nuke him. Uh, go down. Took a little bit of fall damage, but I think it's fine. I really don't know why my chest arc reactor doesn't work. Okay, so now it should be fixed. Yes, okay. And then... Ow. Okay, so that's then the full... Iron Man suit, I need to take off all of the things. So this will then be it for this video, and I really, really hope that you guys actually like the end product, and if you do, just remember, there's a button for that. So, yeah, I guess there's then the end of the video, so bye!